In this tutorial, we will teach you how to develop a passwordless authentication system in Node.js and MongoDB. First, you need to create an empty folder for your project. Then open the command prompt or terminal in that folder and run the command npm in it. It will ask some configuration questions, you can press enter for all to set the default values. Then run this command to install the required modules. HTTP for server, we will be using Express Framework. MongoDB is database and NodeMailer to send an email. Then create a file named server.js and change its path in package.json2 and run the command no daemon server.js to start the server. Then in server.js file, first include express framework and create an instance of it. Then create an HTTP server. And set the port to 3000 if not specified by process environment. Then start the HTTP server at that port. Then install the module EJS for templating and express formidable to handle input requests from form. Create an instance of express formidable. And tell the app to use this as middleware and set EJS as App View Engine. Create Home Root. And we will be creating index.ejs file. Create a new folder named Views. And create a file named index.ejs. Create a simple form. Set its method to post. An action to log in. Then create an input field for email. and a submit button. Then create this post route in server, JS to handle this request. Get email from form. Generate a random six-digit number. And display in browser. We need to pass a string to send method.
So it will always generate random six-digit number. Include MongoDB and get its client. Connect with MongoDB using its client. Display error if there is any. And connect with database. Move all the routes inside the MongoDB callback. Make this function async because we will be using a wait in it. Use a wait command and run a query to MongoDB. Check if email already exists. If not exists, then create one. Access token is used for authentication. Otherwise, update the hash value. and open the verification page. Open MongoDB Compass to view the data in database. Test the app now. It will create a new database in it. and a new document should be created. So the data is being saved in database, now we need to send a user an email with this verification code. So include NodeMailer module. And create a transporter. Set host to your domain mail hosting address. Port should be 465. And secure should be true. In auth object, you simply need to pass your hosting email address and its password. Emails will be sent from this email address. Save it in transport variable. And call send mail function from it. Set from to your own name and email address, this will be visible to the receiver. And to to the user email address that he has entered in the form. And in text we will send the verification code.
and in email clients that supports HTML, will also be same, just the verification code will be bold. Save it in info. And log it in terminal. Test again. So it will show an error because of the verification file we didn't created yet. But if you check your terminal, you will see a success message. Also in your email inbox, you will see the email with a verification code. And in database, a new document is also being created. Now we need to create this file in our Views folder. Create a form. Set its method as post. An action to verify. Create an input field for email and its value will be coming from server.js file. and another field for user to enter the verification code he has received in his email. And set the email to hidden field. And a submit button. And in render function we need to remove this forward slash. Refresh again. If you do inspect element, you will a hidden input field for email with the value I entered in previous step. Now we need to create this post root in server.js to handle this request. Get email and hash fields. We will be searching on users collection, so copy this query. And use the dollar and operator. And pass both email and hash fields. If user does not exists means the email or hash does not match. Otherwise it means that both email and hash matches on the same document. Here you can write your login logic, it will be either JWT or sessions. I will mention both of their links in the description of this video. Test the whole app again. Remove this email. I am going to enter my correct email address. It has redirected me to verify page. A new hash has been saved in database. And a new email has been received as well. If I enter the wrong code, then it will display an error. And if I enter the correct code from email, then it will show a success message. I need to convert this hash in query to integer because by default they are receiving from form as string.
So that's how you can create a passwordless authentication system in Node.js and MongoDB. If you face any problem in following this, kindly do let me know.